we go. All I'm going to say, one word. Greedy. Yeah. I was, gonna, the, I was gonna say dumb. But greedy. Yeah. yeah Would you yeah, say that? Yeah, that works. They're not happy with all the money they make that the NFL, for whatever reason, they wanted an eighteen game schedule, right? The union said no way, no how on that. So the NFL is like, oh well, well maybe we'll make it seventeen mm-hmm. to eliminate, right, uh preseason games in in their entirety. Yeah. Why do you think they want all right, we'll we'll eliminate the preseason games and we just well, we gotta get another game. Is it, is it because, wait a minute, we're trying to uh, help and and the safety of players by not putting them in, in harm's way, so we're going to take them out of the preseason games and give them one regular season game, or is this all about money? Less is more. And for some reason, people in sports, especially nowadays, we've got to have more. We've got to have more cameras. We've got to have more options. We've got to have more channels. We've got to have more. That, like People are, are failing to realize that when NFL owners are proposing this 17-game schedule, they want we want 17 games instead of, we get it. They want more money. To your point, it's greedy. But they're also failing to realize what makes the NFL and college football so much better than the other sports in this aspect. You may like the NBA better. You may like Major League Baseball better. But this is one thing you cannot dispute. Every game feels like a big deal. Every single one. Unless you're in Miami. uh, I know what you mean. Right. Well, for the other team it is. You know what I mean. Uh, But the point is, there are so few games that it feels like a much bigger deal than it really is. Like, ask yourself this. When there's a big-time college football game... Don't the college football players look more devastated after they lose oh, than yeah. an NFL game? Well, because they know too. And, and in college football, you lose a game and done. you're done. That's you lose, it. You, basically, your yep. season's over. And, I mean, and when there's more on the you line, you could dress it up yeah. and talk about all the other stuff, but you know you're done. And when there's more on the line, you get better action. You don't get load management like you do in the NBA. I, I'll give you this. This is the same reason, and this is the only reason. It has nothing to do with college uh, basketball. But the tournament, one and done, yeah. heightens everything. 100%. It just does. It's like the whole thing about, I always say this, you love ice cream, right? Yeah. Until you start working at the ice cream factory. Yeah, you're over it. Then it's like, uh, I'll get some tomorrow. You know, it's it, it beca- it's not the same thing when you can only get it. It's it's It just changes everything. I worked at TGI Fridays for like five and a half years. I was a bus boy. And there was some good stuff they had on the menu. Uh, I'd I'd rather you eat yeah I, I'd rather eat a sewer rat blindfolded oh and assume that it's corn on the cob than go eat over there and it has nothing to do with their food I'm just tired of it I had too you much had of too it. much of it you it's ate too it. much and and the whole the idea that the owners want 17 games I get it you want more money but why don't we fix what we've got before we add on more and I'll okay? say this if I'm the union players union and I have zero confidence in Demora Smith. And just the people over oh, there, okay? Nobody because has confidence in that. Zero, because they don't know what no. they, they don't seem to be uh, know what they're doing, and they get turned bent over like every labor negotiation, <laughs> yeah. basically. Okay, I mean, That's one way to put it. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's uh, you know <laughs> what I, mean, I just you know. That's all right. Listen, I, my, uh, po- my point is, yeah, my point is, you. they always are on the losing end of it. Plain and simple. Absolutely. And and here's my thing. If we're even going to discuss adding another game, we need guaranteed contracts. That's that's the only way I would even entertain putting the players in harm's way, another get anything. They, it would have to be about guarantee. You're not talking about a guaranteed contract. Don't talk to us about yeah. Another and, adding another game. And here's the other thing, and it's just a simple question to people listening to this right now. You're gonna the immediate answer is gonna be yes, I want another regular season game. Understand though that when you add more, it takes away from the others, which means your interest is going to wane each week because you feel like, well, we lost that one. Don't even worry about it. There's another one around the corner. We've got makeup time here. It's the same thing with the college football playoff. For everybody out there saying it's unfair, only four teams get in. We've got to extend it to eight. All right. Right. Well, then what you do is you make all those big time games during the regular season or in the conference championship games seem that much less important because now you've got wiggle room. You can afford to lose I'll, a game and get back into the playoff. And I'll give you the other example. We've seen it for the, for the longest, the NBA, because half the league makes the playoffs. Yes. The regular season doesn't become it's crap. It just do, it's not as important. It's I'm not. sorry. And you can sit here and, oh, you can't wait for that October game or whatever. But you know, 
until we get to April, right? That's when yep. it all starts because you eliminate half the teams. It's not like there's only four NBA teams making the playoffs. They're not have to watch, wouldn't I? Here's here's another one example for you. If you had season tickets to either a Major League Baseball team, an NBA team, or an NFL team, which team are you more likely to go see every single time? The NFL, because you only get eight of them. And in some cases, and, you get less than eight because they're traveling over to London to 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 play in in that stadium over there, or where, or the moon like Jacksonville. Yeah. They have two games like, on the right, moon every yeah, year, yeah, and they've got a a tarp and a swimming pool in their top deck. I mean, but honestly, when you realize that you only have a small amount amount of something, you appreciate it more. And if we're going to continue to extend things or add in more, we're not going to appreciate it as more. I know the easy answer to this is we want more football. We no. Stop. Understand what makes football great. Understand what makes college football great. You get it on a limited capacity. You don't get multiple games a week. It's appointment television was for that? a reason. What was that other league that came out for a couple of weeks? And Oh, right after the Super Bowl. People can't wait for football. That's all. Pe- no. People said, no, I'm good. I want to see, first of all, top quality football, right? Yeah. Not just any football. And number two, I... I'm fine when the when the Super Bowl is over and I've watched the whole year and everything. I, I'll take a break. Yeah, I'm ready to get into the NBA even more, and then I'm ready for baseball to yep. start. I'm, I'm college basketball March Madness. I'm okay. I got plenty to watch. I don't need minor league or or lower level football. And people didn't buy it. That league would, almost didn't make payroll the second week. Do you yeah. Remember? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, I look, can't remember the name let, of that let me, league. Let me tell you something. You wanna, was that the crap football league? Yeah, it's, oh, I'm sorry. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the DFL, the Diarrhea Football League. Yeah. Was? Uh, you want to know how bad off the AAF was? All right, this is how bad off the AAF was. They had to borrow money from an NHL owner because they couldn't make their rent. Okay? Like, when you, when your league, when your boss is calling you up saying, hey, would you mind not cashing that check until Tuesday after, like, 6.30? Anybody that's been through that knows that's the first signal that this whole thing's going down. Or, There's water in the boat, and everybody's going to drown. Or when they get paid... People race to the bank. You don't want to be last because yes. there might not be enough money in the account. <laughs> exactly, yes. Like, you're exactly. like, where are you going? As soon as they hand it to you, you run to the bank. And in fact, you use a diversionary tactic. Like, hey, man, someone's breaking into your car. Exactly. And then you run to yours to go get to the bank. I just think, look, if if you are a fan of how the NFL is and college football is, because it's appointment television, because you've got to, every game matters and every game counts, be, if you're a fan of that, you should absolutely not want more games in the NFL. Absolutely. Absolutely not. Keep it the way that it is. It's it's fine the way that it is. Just improve what you got. If that means officiating, if that means the television Thank experience, yes. if that means the in-game experience, that's fine. We don't need more of something that's still not a perfect, uh, a, a, a perfect at all at this point anyways. No doubt about it. All right, it is The Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. We want to hear from you. 800-877-99 on Fox. 877-996-6369. We want to hear from you. Jump in. Do you want more football regular season games? Do you understand why the league wants 17? The union is saying no. They already turned down 18. Are you in or out on this more pro football? All right, let's kick it off with Max in Georgia. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Max? Hey, guys. Happy to talk with you. My concern with the 17-game season, you know, would be um, – I just worry, like, we already got Thursday night, Sunday, Sunday night, Monday night. Like, you guys sort of said about losing its luster, losing its sizzle. Um, it's starting to kind of look like the other network, for Christ's sake, with, with, their, with their deal with the UFC. It's like, it's just too much. But with the players health-wise, I'd be concerned about their bodies. These guys aren't getting hitting drills and OTAs. They're not getting enough time to get acclimated. The season starts, and it's just like the brutality comes out of nowhere. And the level of, of competition, in my opinion, just is down this year. Well, it's you can look. The there's a lot of bad teams. Yeah. The NFL right now, there's, there's so many bad teams. Thanks it, for the call, Matt. Look, look it, it comes down. It doesn't make sense in any way, shape, or form other than in one area and what you open up with. Greed. They That's all it money. is. They just The difference between preseason money for local games, remember, they're local right. games, compared to another game to offer the networks, right? 
is is huge money wise. The number of games where it's at right now is fine. It's fine. You there are other things that you can improve outside of hey let's add another game on. How about better games? How about better quality games? How about better schedule? I mean, there's different things you can do to add to it. You don't just need to add, you know throw more another one on the back end and say oh here you go this is, no fix what you have in place now and you're going to be fine. No doubt about it. Hey Josh in Orlando, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What you got, Josh? Hey, I mean, I I like where uh, it is right now, but I think there's probably two arguments. Like, if they add on the the 17th game, um, it would actually be less football if they take away some of the preseason. But the argument to that would be, because um, you hear a lot of veteran guys say that you know, preseason is important because that's kind of how they got their uh, their start. So, you know, if they take away preseason and then add the 17th game on, I'm not really for that. But if they add the 17th game and possibly, you know, take away like two preseason games, I'm okay with that. You know, your opinion? Yeah, I, I think preseason, and we've seen it, preseason is important. To a certain extent. I know people are poo-pooing it. It is Only problem is guys are coming out and getting hurt and and the play looks shoddy because they haven't taken any reps. And I think it's a mistake when you haven't played. Remember, there's only a four-month window of playing. So you go four months, you play. Then you don't play for eight months, and then you're supposed to just play again? You know this coming up in the business. You look. They can. T- anybody can tell you. This is what it's like to host a show. This is what it's like to write a column. This is what it's like nope. to cover a team. You know when you really learn when you get thrown in there and you got to figure it out on your own. No doubt. And you ask any coach in the NFL, they'll tell you this to a man. Look, you get rid of the preseason, we got a problem. If you already think some of the play is sloppy in the NFL, you don't want to see what it's going to look like when these guys don't have actual game reps and we throw them in there when they're not ready. No doubt about it. What about the? Uh- uh, truck driver Don in Boston. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Let's hear that horn. Ah, oh, what a horn! There we go, my man. How are you, Don? Good, Rob. How you doing, bud? Doing great. I'm good, Don. What's up, man? Hey, how you doing, bud? <laughs> I, I I listen to both of you all the time, so Th- appreciate I'm, it. I'm a I'm a junkie. That's good, Rob. I, I only call. That. You know, I only call to bust your chops. I, I know think that. We ought to have- <laughs> I think we need two Super Bowls a year, so Brady would have twelve rings. Oh God! Oh, oh my yeah, goodness! Yeah. God, come on! Yeah. <laughs> F you, Rob Parker. Hey, hey you know you. what? Hey, Don. In baseball, yeah. they used to have two All Star games. Do people know that? <laughs> they used to play. I, I did actually. Yeah, yeah, you know that, but they used to play two All Star games. Why? I think they played a National League in a, you know in, in the National League city and oh. an American League city. Oh, nice! Yeah, it was it was dumb. Yeah, absolutely. All yeah, right. not not a good idea. All Star is a, a bad game anyway. And, so. it, and and so Don, you want another game? You want seventeen or, or sixteen? Good enough for you? No, no, sixteen's plenty. Yeah, that's sixteen fine. is sixteen is a good season. Um, the the playoffs are just right. I mean, you know they they're. The, right now, the the problem, well, they're losing customers, and, and I, in my personal opinion, I think payroll is the biggest reason. I think too many guys protesting not enough millions, and, and I'm not blaming the guys. I, I, you know, I don't blame the players at all, but I don't think it relates to guys like me, you know, everyday Joes that, you know, go out and work tw- 12 hours a day. I get you know it. What I mean? Yeah, I get it, but it's hard to... Uh, yeah. To, to use that as a comparison it, to a, it, a regular it, it, Joe look, and a guy who's who's a, who's an elite athlete, and there's only 1,200 of those jobs compared to 330 million people. They're very special. Look, if you've got season – again, if you've got season tickets to the NFL, Major League Baseball, and the NBA, which – season tickets are you less willing to give up to somebody because you don't want to go to the game nfl because there's only eight that's what makes it special no doubt let's squeeze one more in ben in kentucky you're on the odd couple fox sports radio ben what you got hey guys i want to say as a i am in kentucky yes but i'm a chicago born native and uh you know without the preseason you know chicago and and a lot of these other teams wouldn't have developed the 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 rosters that they've got right now during that real essential era that they needed. You know, I think that the NFL needs the preseason games. I do too. Uh, I think not, at- maybe not four, but they definitely need to practice. And what they do in college football is they sketch, schedule cupcakes 
uh, the first month of yeah. the cup, right? Normally yes. you don't even play anybody. Yep. You, and that's your preseason, yep. to be honest. And if you lose one of them, shame on you. But you're usually scheduled – Guys who are bad. It's why, look, give give credit where credit is due. Oregon, they took a shot, man. They played Auburn week one of the college football season. Good for them. Guess what happened? Their season's over. Exactly. Like they're not winning anything this year because they lost that game to Auburn.